I triple dog dare you to enjoy an upcoming show based on one of the most beloved holiday films of all time. Pittsburgh Public Theater will present A Christmas Story, the play in just a couple of weeks. Joining me now, we have actors Sebastian Madoni and Jamie Agnello, as well as director Michael Barres. Thank you all for coming on today. Thank you for having us. This is really wonderful. So Pittsburgh Public Theater made this announcement what about bringing back a Christmas story? This is a big homecoming for you of it is. sorts. I actually got my equity card. My professional debut was at Pittsburgh CLO. So it's like coming home. Well, and this is your first time back. It is my that. first time back since that job. Last year was my first time back. Um, and I, I have to say, I said this to you a little earlier, the, the reputation that Pittsburgh has as a theater town in New York City, I'm from New York City, is stellar. This is a place where people know good theater gets done and Pittsburgh public is right at the top of the list. So it's a thrill to be back. Well, and you mentioned this, so you were back last year. It was it for this production, right? Yep. And so what about this year? Is same cast? Are you bringing in new faces? Some familiar faces, yes. <laughs> including these two. Yeah. Um, and some new faces. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about being a show that has lots of kids in it is kids grow. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Well, so tell me who you two play. Yeah, I play mother. And? and I play Ralphie. Oh, what an iconic role. <laughs> what is it like taking on that, that role? Have you been watching A Christmas Story since you were little? Um, so actually, um, before last year, um, I have never seen A Christmas Story. What? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> so you don't have it on all day long? No. <laughs> on Christmas? Okay. All right. Maybe it's just my house. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Well, really cool. So what is it like taking on that role, knowing that people love it and, and know it so well? It brings great joy to be able to recreate this role as and interpret it as how I feel the character shall be played. And and for you, yeah, playing absolutely. the mom. <laughs> you just said mom. I play mom. I play like mom. Like that's that's me every day. I play mom <laughs> exactly. too. But you get to do some really fun things. Do you do the um, mashed potatoes and meatloaf? Part? Absolutely. Is that, please tell me this yes. is part of yes. it. Yes. Mommy's Little Piggy makes a grand appearance okay, uh, very early in the show <laughs> as a treat for everybody. Um, we have real live oatmeal too, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I think getting our little show family back together feels really, really special. Um, we have Tim who's playing the old man again and returning and him and I have a lot of fun comic physicality that we can play with and to lean into that further this year as a second chance to revisit feels like a real gift. That's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, s since you guys have done this last year, rehearsal started last week, has it been easy this year kind of bringing some of that cast back together? I mean, it definitely gives us a great head start. Yeah. But I also don't want to shortchange the new people that are coming in. Mm -hmm. So it's been a perfect combination of familiarity and newness. Yeah. It's nice to have a little bit of vigor from the new people, um, but it's going great. And it's something we're so proud of and if you're a regular patron at Pittsburgh Public, then I think it's a wonderful thing to revisit and maybe become a new holiday tradition for you. And if you have never been to Pittsburgh Public, I think this is a perfect show to try to yeah. get, get inside the, the family of the theater because you can bring your kids, you can bring your parents, your grandparents, you can come as a family. It's fun for everyone Absolutely. in the family. Us too. And yeah. so <laughs> with something that's so iconic though, do you keep it as classic as possible? Do you try and bring your own spin to it? I think it's a combination of both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course, there are things that people absolutely want to see, their favorite memories from the movie, and we give them all the stuff that they want. But there's one significant difference, and that is that the narrator in the movie you never see. And yeah. in this production, it's an actual person on stage played by John Shepard. Oh, fun. And yeah, so that's a right from the get-go, there's, there's something that's significantly different. But I would say halfway through the show, I think audiences would be like, wait, yeah, that character's in the movie. We see that character. But, right, you kind of almost It feels so natural. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think that's a fun little way to really tell a story, too, to actually Absolutely. have the narrator on stage. All right, Michael, we have to bring this up, and I'm sorry, I hope I'm not embarrassing you. You were nominated for a Tony Award <laughs> for Kiss Me, Kate. So how does it feel to bring your Broadway experience here to Pittsburgh to be able to work with some local actors here, too? Well, uh, for me, the size of the venue or like the publicity surrounding it doesn't necessarily equate to quality. I've been very fortunate in my career. I've done 11 Broadway shows, but some of the things I've been proudest of in my entire career are things that I've done in venues exactly like this. Yeah. And this show is one of them. And so for me to come back to Pittsburgh where I got my professional start feels very, very poignant for me. And I love it. It's, it's actually, and it's a holiday show. There's so much joy in it. Yes. 
I don't feel fancy when I'm here. I feel like I belong. I, and that's what I said to you. I was like, oh, Tiffany <laughs> Award nominated. That's fancy. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for coming on. And it really is a classic. A Christmas Story, the play runs from December 7th through the 23rd at the O'Reilly Theater in downtown Pittsburgh. Tickets are on sale right now. We'll have a link for you on our website, kdka.com slash talk Pittsburgh. And in just a couple of weeks, we're very excited because on Pittsburgh Today Live, we will be heading to the stage with some of the show's young actors. You don't want to miss that either. All right, Kristen, we've had a lot of rain today. How's it looking for the rest of the night? Uh, lots of rain continuing up until the, the middle of the evening, but the problem is going to be some gusty winds. Coming up, we'll talk about how that may impact folks if you're hitting the road for Thanksgiving travel for tonight and tomorrow. And we'll look ahead to the Thanksgiving forecast coming up. Thank you.